Hi everybody and welcome back to Ibex Running. I'm Coach Rachel and today we have a 40 minute hit push interval workout for you. If you miss any speed or incline changes, I don't want you to worry because we're gonna have all that displayed for you to see right over here. And then if you look at the opposite side of your screen, you're gonna see this nice long progression bar and that's gonna show you where we are from start to finish through this whole entire workout. Let's make sure we have a water bottle and a towel handy today because we are gonna put in some work. And if you're ready to get sweaty, let's look down that tread hit that star button in three in two and one okay two five three five to start now i'm going to start off a little bit faster today because once we get through the warm-up we go right into it wham bam thank you ma'am yeah so we got a couple different blocks today there's no rhyme or reason they all do something different okay so we do start off with a little bit of a bang we're here for a minute we're going to pick it up for a nice soft jog go back to a walk and then right into block number one Block number one is nice and juicy, okay? You're gonna go easy run, hard run, easy run, hard run, easy run, hard run. The good news about that is your easy runs are a minute, your hard runs are only 30 seconds. We're only gonna cue this one minute, one block at a time, I'm not trying to confuse you, okay? So give me a couple good deep inhales. Good couple deep exhales. We got 15 seconds. We take it right into a soft jog. We're going up to a four, five, six, five, and we're here for three minutes, okay? So you really get some time to warm the whole body up, okay? We go in three, two, one. So I say start off slow. We're here for three minutes, right? Maybe every 30 seconds you add on 0.5. Okay, four, five to six, five. You know what I'm gonna say? That's a lot of wiggle room. All right, shake out the arms. <sighs> Check in with your body. Here we go. Breathing in and out. Almost 30 seconds in. Every 30 seconds, I'm gonna increase. Again, you don't have to. If you're ready to go, pick up that pace whenever you're ready. And I'm gonna add on 0.5 now. Dun, da, da, da. If your tread can go on 0.5 instead of 1.0 for incline, let's do it, right? So how are we feeling? So we have a couple progressions and then a couple different types of intervals i don't want to confuse you i don't want to confuse you here we go 10 seconds i'm going to pick my pace up just a little bit more we're going to be one minute in two more minutes to go in this warm-up here we go three two i'm gonna pick mine up again there we go i think it's important to kind of slowly add it on right and if you go a little bit faster in your warm-up by the time you get to that easy run it's gonna be exactly that. It's gonna be easy. So go a little faster, right? Build onto it. We have about a minute and a half. And what do I say? If you've been with me for a while, it's okay if that breath is heavy in the, right in the beginning. It's not gonna feel so easy. I'm gonna add a couple more. <sighs> Breathe. You need some time for the lungs to warm up also right? You're running. It's inside out, right? Your body's just not the exterior. It's the inside too. Got to warm it up like a machine. Get ready, get ready. Five, four, three, two coming up on that last minute. I'm moving and grooving here today. You know, it's weird. Sometimes you feel like you're tired and your body's like fatigued, but you have the best workouts. I love those days. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. We got about four zero. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta get the little stickies out. They try to stick in there. Last 30 seconds, then we get to walk. I'm gonna pick up my pace a little more. There we go. You get a one minute walk in recovery. That's why I'm saying push harder here. It's only gonna help you when we get to that first block. 15 seconds, keep it going. Come on, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, walk it out, 3040. One minute here, walk and recover, we go right into block one. Easy run, hard run, easy run, hard run. Four rounds, okay? We don't stop running. We just change the pace. Your easy run is four, five to seven, oh. Your hard run is six, oh to 10, oh. Remember your easy run is one minute. Your hard run is 30 seconds. We go there back, 
Easy hard, easy hard, easy hard. Four rounds, one minute walk and recovery. We got this. Inhale, exhale. It's gonna go by super fast, trust me, right? I know it sounds like we're running for a while, but the fact that we're going from easy to hard, you'll be, you'll be done before you know and you're not even gonna realize it, okay? Let's go in 10, nine, four, five, seven, oh to start, in three, two, and one. Let's go. Block number one. Keep running, keep working. This, is, this part's the nice part, okay? Now you don't have to stick with the same pace. If you feel like it's too easy, you can always speed it up, right? Remember, time isn't something that we get like the most of that, we, you know? Like sometimes we're super busy. So if you blocked out 40 minutes for yourself, let's make the most of it here, okay? Let's not take it easy, not be lazy, right? Because taking it easy, aka, could just be lazy leg day, but you don't feel like moving your body. Give it everything you got. Get ready for our first pickup in 10. Our hard push, push, hard push, enunciate, Rachel. Five, four, six, oh, 10, oh, in three, two, pick it up. 30 seconds here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You got it, squeeze that core. <sighs> Breathe in and out through your nose. You're halfway there. You get to take that pace back down in 10, in eight, in six, five, four, three, two. Good. You're not walking, you're just bringing it back down for five, seven, oh. <clears throat> get, get it to a pace. <clears throat> where you can feel the heart rate drop, right? You can feel the lungs open back up. That's the easier pace. You wanna be able to breathe, okay? Shake out the arms. Around round two, remember only four rounds here. We go in 30 seconds again. All right, the first one's the hardest. The first one's the hardest. We already got it done and out of the way. Three more rounds and then you get to walk. Dun, da, 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 da. Here we go. Another 15 seconds. We go 6 0, 10 0. Push hard for 30. Cover for a minute. And 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Pick it up. Come on, come on, come on. We work hard. We don't quit. We don't stop here. We're strong, we are tough, and none of us are quitters, especially today. You got 10 seconds here. You get to take that pace back down. In six, five, four, three, two. Take it down, take it down. All right, how you feeling? Feeling good? So we're already on round number three. I know, I told you it was gonna go by fast. <sighs> Let it out, right? Running, what am I gonna say? It's all about breathing. <sighs> they gotta go, they have to sync up your, your body and your breath. 30 seconds, we do it again. <sighs> You're having trouble breathing, slow down the pace. I promise, this is the, there's no cheat code to it. Slow it down. Inhale, exhale, follow that rhythm, okay? 10 seconds, we pick up the pace again. <clears throat> in six, in five, in four, in three, two, let's go baby. 30 seconds right here. We're in it to win it. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This is where we work harder, okay? You get to recover. You get to bring that heart rate back down. But here, push. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two. All right, take it down. Four, five, seven, oh. Last round here. Easy round. Whew. Hard round. One minute walk and recovery. How are you feeling? Feeling good? It's not so bad, see? There's enough, just enough rounds, right? If we started going around five or six gems, you're gonna start, you're gonna start feeling it. Just think, you've done a whole lot of work. You get this one minute rest and recovery. Take it. You earned it. We're not done with the workout. Okay, we're just done with the first block. 20 seconds. Our last 30 second push in round one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're just getting warmed up. Right? Seven, six, we go six out, ten out. Five, four, three, two. Pick it up, pick it up. 30 seconds here. You walk on the other side. Come on, bigger strides, pump the arms. Halfway there. Come on, let's go, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh. You are in that baby, All right? Walk and recover, breathe. All right, round two, or block two, is a progression walk, or progression run. No walking, hey, <laughs> hey. All right, four rounds, eight minutes, okay? Every two minutes, you're increasing your pace by 0.2, okay? Increasing your pace by 0.2, 30 seconds. We're not stopping the whole block. It's eight whole minutes of running. You're okay. You got this. Start at a pace you know you can build on to, and you know that you can hold for eight minutes straight. Don't pick a pace that's way too easy, though. There is an in-between. It does exist. Okay? The limit does not exist. Mean girls. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two. We start four, seven, seven, seven. Let's go. I know, one minute, one minute, it goes by fast. When you're sprinting, it takes forever. When you're walking, it feels like nothing. So, like I said, you don't have to run at your hard push pace. Completely different, okay? This is more for endurance now. Running for a whole minute straight, slowly increasing the pace. This is where you got to, not the rest of the world, okay? Now, I know I said every block was something different, but it's not. So for the rest of the workout, we go back to block one, and then we do block two again, okay? So four different blocks, A, B, A, B, basically. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So we're already on almost one minute down. Now, you should be at a pace that you know you can speed it up, right? This is the easiest moment A block number two. Just remember, we only have three, get my fingers right, three more increases, okay? So it doesn't have to go super fast. You could take it higher than point two, but you know, if you're newer to running, let's just slowly do the increase. Right? You don't have to overwhelm yourself by trying to go 1.0 faster. 30 seconds. Yeah, first two, first, two, um, first two progressions, not so bad. The last two, you're probably gonna feel, okay? But that's what we're here for. Accepting the hard work. You have to learn to love the harder parts. Right? The easy parts, you're like, eh, ain't too easy. I want the hard part. Change that mindset. Here we go. We were at a four, seven, seven, seven. We're going four, nine, seven, nine. And three, two. Pick it up. So smidge faster. Okay. Good. We have three more. Three more pushes. Six more minutes. Just take it one minute at a time. Once we finish this whole block, we're halfway through the workout. You got it, team. Keep running. Keep working. 
90 seconds left at this pace here. Then we pick it up some more. How are we feeling? You're okay? You're fine. Come back to your breath. Breathe. In through your nose. Try to breathe out through your nose. It's easier, it's harder said than done. Okay? When in doubt, just keep listening. You got one more minute here. And then we pick it up again. Feels nice, right? It's not too bad. Right? I, I, always running is a mental sport. You start freaking yourself out more. Same with boxing since I'm into it now. It's all mental sport. It's all in your head. We create the doubt. We create the fear. That's the best part about it. Is every time you finish it, right? It's like you're fighting that fear. You're fighting that self-doubt. And if you didn't cheat throughout the workout, you win. You win every single time. That. Uh-huh. Definition of winning. Here we go. Get ready to pick it up again. In 10. So we're at a 4-9 to a 7-9. We take it up. 5-1 to 8-1. In 3, 2, pick it up. We're halfway there. Okay? I told you the last two rounds, you're going to feel a little bit more. You get a one minute walk and recovery on the other side of this. You stay strong for four more minutes. Just take it one minute at a time, right? Not stressing about how much longer we have. Stay here. What does this feel like, right? Listen to the sound of your feet. I started a little bit when I said it. Listen to the sound of your feet. One, two, one, two, one, two, right? Pump those arms. Breathe, relax the shoulders, soft grip in the hands. <clears throat> You're gonna make it. You're not gonna slow down. You're not gonna stop. If you've not ran for eight minutes straight, today is the day we're gonna make it happen, okay? Look at me, I'm doing it. You're doing it together. One minute, we pick it up. Our last piece in this block. 50 seconds to go. <clears throat> keep breathing, keep working. Whew. Feels nice, right? Your lungs are nice and open now. <sighs> 30 seconds. Our last regression in this block. Here we go. Accept it, right? Accept the challenge. I'm ready for it. Last two minutes. Faster, stronger, harder. Why not? We pick it up. In. 10. It's 5-3 to an 8-3. In three, two, pick it up. That's it. Now hold for two. Just hold for two minutes. You get to earn that walk and recovery. On the other side of this, come on. You're in the zone now. It's not a sprint, right? You're just slowly pushing yourself a little bit faster, a little bit faster, so that we're slowly starting to increase our pace naturally. It does work, all right? It might be a slow process, but from where I started on my running journey like two years ago, three years ago, I see massive amounts of improvement in my starting pace. It'll happen, okay? Trust the process. It's not meant to go quick. It's not meant to be easy, right? All things worth it are hard. Last minute here. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Feel nice? Oh yeah. Get a little drippy. Drip mode. Here we go. 
30 seconds. I know it feels like you've been running this whole entire time and you pretty much have. But guess what? We gotta do everything. One more time, our bodies are already used to it. Now we just show up for ourselves. This is the hard part, right? It's not the physical that kicks in in the second half. It's the mental. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh. Grab some water here, right? Slow it down to a pace that's an actual recovery pace. Paces are the same for the block three and block four. Same thing. Easy run, hard push, easy run, hard push. <clears throat> you can slowly try to increase whatever those paces are. If it's not today, it's not today. All right, I don't, wanna I don't, I don't want you to focus on the speed so much. You pick those two paces, you go back and forth, you complete it. Stick with the time, right? 15 seconds, we go right into it. I know, I told you. One minute walk and recovery, it goes away like that. So four, five, seven, oh, easy run. We start one minute, <clears throat> get the ickies out. Three, two, let's pick it up. <clears throat> easy, one minute here. You only have to push for 30 seconds and that feels like a dream. Only four rounds, they go by quick. This whole round goes by really quick. It's only about five minutes long. Easy, 30 seconds. Our first hard push, 6-0, 10-0. Remember who you are, right? Dig down deep. You know who you are to your core. You are tough. You don't let anything stand in your way, not even yourself. So when I say go to that hard push, do it, All right? You got five, four, three, two. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Six, oh, 10, oh. It's only 30 seconds. You got it. Pump those arms, breathe. It's all about your breath, right? Halfway there. Come on, come on, come on. Don't slow it down yet. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good. Four, five, seven, oh. One minute. That's round one done. Three more to go. Watch your shoulders. Sometimes I, I feel it too. I'm trying to relax and I like bring my shoulders up. Drop them down. Right? Shake out the arms. Back to moving. Elbows come behind you. Soft grip in the hands. 30 seconds. We do it again. And again and again. And again and again. Oh yeah. You ready? Block number three. Hard push number two. 30 seconds. At a 6-0. To a 10 -0. in 10, and nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. 30 seconds. Let's go to work here. Come on, push through it, fight. You're okay. Calm your mind, move your body. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go. Take it back. Easy pace. You have two more, two more. That's it, I told you. This run goes by so fast. Literally almost there. <clears throat> 45 seconds. <clears throat> a hard push is nice. 30 seconds of a hard push, not in an overwhelming amount of time. Just enough time to get what you need 
brings you back down to this easy pace. You recuperate, but you're not slowing down. You're not walking. You're keeping the heart rate up. <clears throat> you ready? <clears throat> Let's get ready to do it again. 15 seconds. 6 0, 10 0, and 10, and 9, and 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Pick it up, baby. What do you want today? Huh? What's the results you're looking for? How do you think you're going to get it? By slowing on your pace? By stopping two or three seconds early? Nope, not in my house. Finish. This is where you prove to yourself how bad you want it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it back down. If you can't even prove it to yourself, you really think you're worthy of it. Huh? I know that's a harsh reality, but it's true. If you can't even convince yourself that you can do it, you think that you're worthy for the change. Ain't gonna happen that way. You gotta want it. You gotta work for it. You have one more round. One minute walk and recovery. I know sometimes that could be serious. Kind of scary. <laughs> one minute. Oh, I mean 30 seconds. I like 30 seconds. Wrong one. I was like, wait a second. Why is it off? 15 seconds we go. Last hard push. Here we go. I was going to make you run a little longer. I'm quick with it though, okay? Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pick it up. 30, 30 seconds, last 30. Maybe a little bit faster, right? Last hard push of the workout. Come on. You are tough. You are strong. Fight for it. Don't quit. Keep breathing. Keep working. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, oh, four, oh. All right. One minute recovery. We're already up on the last block. Eight minutes. Same thing. You can start at the same pace, right? I know it's the last. The last little block. It's a long period of time, eight minutes of running. It's not just a little chump change, okay? That's a long time. A lot can happen in eight minutes. Pace yourself accordingly. Don't quit. Don't start walking. That's the goal, okay? I'll even say slow down the pace. I don't want you to, right? Because that's a progression. We're slowly progressing. But before you quit and stop, take one or two off. Point 0.1 or point 0.2, not 1.0. I'm on to you guys. I know. Anytime people can cheat, I gotta ask, see what they do with this laundry because it smells glorious. Here we go. Three, two, four, seven, seven, seven. Two minutes here. Now we're here for eight minutes. Slow, increasing our pace. Starting a little bit slower, right? So it's just a smidgen faster than your easy run. Well, we're slowly increasing, so it's not going easy, hard, easy, hard. Slowly progressing. I've been watching the um, that Conor McGregor documentary that uh, that came out. And he said something that I think about all the time. Because I always tell you guys not to cheat, right? And it's so easy. But I always talk about like the negative mindset, the self-doubt talk. And he nailed something on the head. He was saying like how in the gym he would give it a hundred percent but outside the gym he would let himself kind of slack right he wasn't saying committed to the goals he set for himself in the gym yes he's like i'm gonna do this workout i'm gonna do a hard train for six hours a day blah blah whatever it was did it well when it got off right and he went back into reality you know it's that one extra drink with your meal right the knowing when to Say no to the snack and allowing yourself the yes, right? 
allowing yourself to sleep in because you went out late the day before therefore you're not working out of, as hard or as long as you should have it's the small things right you are allowing yourself to go cheat allowing yourself to quit allowing yourself to give up on what it is you actually want right you're not staying focused having a fitness journey it's not easy I'm not saying you can never cheat, right? Three, two, add on, point two, four, nine, seven, nine. What I'm saying is you have a goal, right? You stick to it on and off this machine. Anybody ever talk to bodybuilders and they say that work in the gym is the easy part. It's the heart of the eating of the diet. It's the, the showing up for yourself to seeing the actual version of you in the mirror. That's the hard stuff. It's the same thing with every fitness journey. This, right, is hard in the moment. It's hard in the moment, it's a moment. But you want change, you have to stay disciplined 24 hours a day. And I'm so adamant about saying there's no cheat code around that. No Zempic is gonna save you <coughs> from that, from years to come, okay? unless you are using it for a medical reason. No cheat code to the top of the ladder, right? One step at a time, even if you gotta cry through it. Cry, baby. I cry. It's okay, man. It's okay to have those emotions. Crying don't mean you're weak. Crying means you're releasing something, right? You're having a moment of that's hard and you're like fighting for it. And it's just like an energy release. Your body needs to get rid of it to go through it. Don't hold in those tears, right? Especially if you're a dude. Why I say that? Because I feel like they put more pressure. Yeah, dudes aren't allowed to cry. I tell my son to cry all the time. Get it out. We go on another story. You want another story? All right. I'll tell you another story. In 10 seconds, though. Here we go, in six, and five, and four, three, two, let's go. It's five, one, eight, one, you got four minutes left. So I was watching like Instagram reels and there was this woman who was giving a speech and as silly as the speech on, I, I don't know why I was intrigued, I wanted to listen to it. She said, you have a beautiful Chanel purse and a piece of cheesecake. And you put the cheesecake in the Chanel purse and you put it in the closet. What do you think happens to that cheesecake? Right? She's like, in an hour, what happens to it? In a week, what happens to it? In a month, what happens to it? In six months, what happens to it? Right? It becomes toxic. So same thing with our bodies. Right? You got, you can't keep putting toxic stuff. You can't be putting crap in there. Got to get it out. Get it out. It was going to come full circle. I don't know if I got there, though, but... Don't put cheesecakes in Chanel's bags, okay? Don't do that. Let's go. One minute, guess what? One minute here, so three minutes left of running. Can you believe that? So 33 minutes into the workout, we basically want to only have been walking for about three minutes. So we've been running for a whole 30 minutes straight. I just wanted to put that in perspective for you guys. That if you're one of those people who do the HIT training because you can get that one minute, 30 seconds walk in between, and you can try this, kudos, man. Level up. Get ready. The last round is 5-3-8-3. We do that in about 15 seconds. You have two minutes of a recovery on the other side of this. We work hard for the last two. Here we go. In six, five, four, three, two, five, three, eight, three. A little bit more, right? This is it right here. Your last few moments to get everything you need. Not to start slowing down here. You realize you have two minutes left. Not even, you have about 90 seconds left. Can you run a little faster? 
You got a little anger in you. Maybe work pissed you off last week. Run it out of your system. I'm a firm believer of that. It's just get it all, all the frustrations out. Right? Ignite your own power. Go hard. Get ready. Last minute, I want something extra. All right? You have one minute coming up in 10 seconds. Maybe add on point two again. You can do it. In five, in four, in three, two. Oh, yeah. You get to walk after this. So I only asked you to increase by point two. You've already been doing that. Come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> 45 seconds. How you feeling? Feeling good? You got it. Easy peasy, right? Light work. Let's go. 30 seconds left. Dun da 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 Come on. Last 20. Oh, there it goes. Right at the end. Sweat on the stash. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Three. Oh, four. Oh. Oh, yeah, baby. Too, too soon. All right. Cooling down still. All right, team. Check in. Are we alive? Still breathing. You made it. <sighs> Light at the end of the tunnel now. You're like, whoo, you did it. No more stressing. You made it through it. I'm proud of you guys. You should be proud of yourself, man. What is it, 30, like 35 minutes, <clears throat> 36 minutes running pretty much the whole entire time. Putting in some work today. You get to take it down. 15 seconds, 2535. Five. Full cool down. I'll kind of recap what we did in eight, seven. Look at that. You know when your forearms sweat, that's the work. Three, two, one, two, five, three, five. All right, we had two different blocks. We'll call them A and B today because there's not four different ones. We have block A, block B. We alternated between the two. First block, we just changed up our pace, right? Went from an easy run to a hard run. Second one, held those paces for a little bit longer, started uh, at a, a little bit higher than our easy pace and then slowly increased, right? We're slowly building up our endurance. Anybody who has never ran before, but like a marathon is in their future, like you dream about it, and that's cool to dream about it, man. They're freaking amazing. Keep up with that dream, you're gonna do it. This is how you start, okay? Little by little, go a little bit longer, a little bit faster, you'll get where you need to be, okay? Uh-huh, stick with us, we got you, right? 15 seconds, remember to uh, hydrate, remember to stretch, remember to come back next time, like and subscribe, tell your friends about us, come on, come on, everybody's doing it. Here we go, hit that stop button in three, in two, and one. I'm Coach Rachel, this is Ibex Running, this was our 40 minute hit push interval workout, and I'll see you guys next time.